so how's it going today guys back here with another video um today we're going to be just kind of talking about the new content that we got today the new out of position packs probably open up a couple and uh just how bad the content was this week before these packs came out and a lot of people are kind of hating on these packs too just because of the terrible pack odds but i don't think it's that awful because i mean you're going to be able to get some of those cheesy cards like the ruby rv sabonis still for like under 10k and um the packs themselves too being 10,500 again they need to start doing this with promos again and i think it sets a really good precedent for upcoming promo sets because no one wants to pay you know 15,750 or 21,000 mt especially for a single pack like that was kind of getting a little bit ridiculous and to me the odds in these ones are like not a whole lot worse i mean especially for the high tier cars and that's what everyone kind of wants to pull of course is the opals and dark matters of the world and i feel like for those type of cards the odds are about the same it says that i think the opals for these ones are like three percent which is pretty low because last week they were like five for the uh um bracket buster packs but still though i mean you're still not don't really have that good of a chance for an opal and it's still a sub two percent chance for dark matter but I mean the price the packs are half the price we can't really for we can't forget that man but anyway before these packs dropped today man we had two just terrible super packs or three terrible super packs actually one dropped on tuesday which was the worst of them all it didn't even have a single card that was worth over 100k it was all like 97 overall opals that were super old such as Joel and B, Donovan Mitchell, Chris Paul, uh, the Opal MJ, which, who wants that card now that there's this card? I mean, <laughs> let's just be real here. Um, and then Wednesday, we saw, I think they were like the, oh, well, I can't even remember what they were called, but we had like an Opal Wilt Chamberlain, um, a couple other 98 overall Opals as guaranteed box toppers. And those packs were a little bit better. I think Dark Matter Brawn was pullable out of them definitely a little bit better but still i mean who wants a vc only super pack that you just still don't have very good odds for an opal and there's only one pullable dark matter and all that kind of stuff and then thursday they did the idol super packs that was a little bit better i think that's kind of nice because they put like clay thompson and kevin durant and some of these other opals um as box toppers and those cards are still really good so those super packs weren't terrible but then let's talk about the spotlight sims as well and trust me i don't want to make this like a rant video or anything i'm not trying to rant um at all but i just think that the content this week man it was really just kind of pushing me towards playing fortnite because i was like i don't even really need to log in like i, I do not want to play these spotlight sims so you look here you know there's 23 games um we got some badge packs, some tokens, some dinosaur shoe boosts. That's all fine and dandy. And you think, all right, well, you know, if I play these 23 games, then I get the uh, Galaxy Opal Ralph Sampson, who's the reward. But no, there's a bunch of agenda groups that you have to complete as well. Um, not even just the 23 games or 24 games or whatever it is. You have to complete all these agendas. And that is just way too much time. Like, the only person who's realistically going to have enough time to do this comfortably within a couple days and, you know, not put other stuff off is, like, full-time content creators. Like, who wants to do all these? Like, these do not look fun at all to me. Like, 163 points with the rubies, which are terrible cards. Um, let's see what else we got here. 142 points with the amethyst. 17 points and five rebounds and then they put a bunch of them um in here too that you've got to do like full games for like a triple double um i like the ones that you can just do in triple threat man because i only play triple threat and i'm not going to be one to complain about you know having to play tto like that's fine uh and play like online game modes but i just don't want to play a full five on five game just to get like two or three of these challenges done in one of the games I just think that's absolutely ridiculous and you know all the content creators they're gonna come out and say oh you know this is only like a 18 hour grind or 16 hour grind or I think it's probably even less than that realistically if you grind the whole way through but who's just gonna sit there and play this straight you know you gotta like eat you gotta take some breaks I mean let's be real here you're not just gonna sit down for 
10 to 15 hours. I mean, you could, but it's it's not going to be very fun. It's not very fun for me, at least. Like, I like to get some breaks in there as well and kind of spread it out. And, you know, you can do that. That's fine. If, you know, if you're on the road to Ralph Sampson, you're not going to get him until maybe next weekend. That's perfectly fine. But I think that's too long of a grind for a card like this. It's just going to be outdated so soon. And I'm just not a fan of how they did that. I think they should have just done just the 24 games. You get Ralph Sampson after winning all 24 games. And that's just more realistic, in my opinion. I think that's just a better... I think that's just how they should have done it. So the Super Packs, the only one that I'm kind of mad about and was disappointed about, I guess I should say, is the first one, the one that dropped on Tuesday. Like, those were absolutely terrible. Like, if anyone spent money on those, I really think you need to kind of just do a reality check on yourself because that those were the most pointless packs they've dropped all year. I'm sorry. They just were. And then the other two Super Packs, you know, whatever. They were all right. They weren't the best, but they weren't, like, terrible, terrible, I suppose. Still bad that they're VC only, but that's the way it goes. But the Spotlight Sims is the worst thing of this week, man. Like, why do you have to tie all these agendas to um, all the games? Like, just, they've never done that with Spotlight Sims before. And I realized last year was the only year with, like, XP and all these agenda groups and that, but... They've literally never done that. Spotlight Sims is supposed to be about winning the games and getting the reward. I don't even care if instead of 24 triple tier games, it was like 40, and then you get Ralph Sampson. That's fine. Like, that is perfectly fine, even if they wanted to double it and, you know, 50 games. Like, who cares, really? But all those agendas in that, man, it just gets really tiring because you're already grinding all those agendas, all a bunch of other agendas for XP, so, I mean, I don't know. Some people must be entertained by it, though, because they really like to do it. And it seems to, uh, you know, some people just seem to like it, I suppose. But I'm not a fan of it at all. I just like grinding the game. I don't like worrying about what three players I'm going to use in triple threat and what I have to do with each one of them. Like, it's all right. Like, I don't mind doing it in triple threat offline and stuff like that. But having to play full games and having all these guys that you have to worry about doing certain things within the game... I'm just not a fan of that at all. And like I said, I'm not trying to rant. I'm just, I just don't think that's how Spotlight Sims should be. And I think some people should definitely agree with me on that. So, yeah. That's really all I got to say about this week's content. Super Packs, like I said, not terrible. But the Spotlight Sims, in my opinion, were very terrible. Like, I don't know why they did that the way that they did. And the reward cards are terrible, too. Like, I mean, I think I already mentioned that. But all the reward cards are awful. You know, there's a few, like, there's that one Amethyst that's pretty good. Christian Leitner's not bad either, but, I mean, you, there's just way better players that you can get off the auction house that you could, you know, get the MT for in way less time than it's going to take to grind all that those stupid agendas. So, I mean, that's just kind of the way I feel about it. Again, I'm not trying to act like I'm, like, mad about it because I'm not. I just think that it's kind of dumb. Like, I, I just, that's kind of the way I genuinely feel about it. So, yeah. But anyway, I have seen kind of uh, I've people that I've seen do pack openings. They're usually pulling like one high tier card and then not getting any of these low tier guys, which is very interesting. So Arvita Sabonis and some of these diamonds and pink diamonds are pretty rare. And I mean, the opals and dark matters are rare too. But for example, I'll watch people open up a 10 pack box and then pull like one opal or watch people open up a 10 pack box and pull up, pull like Ben Wallace. I've seen one person pull Giannis, which I mean, that would, that's just pretty sick. I would love to pull Giannis for sure. And, but these lower tier guys are just not coming out of packs at the rate that they normally would, which I guess that's not too big of a surprise. Because I know that they're not deluxe packs, and that they, that kind of happened with out-of-position packs in the past, so it's not the biggest surprise. But yeah, let's just open up a couple and see if we can get really, really lucky here, man. That'd be nice. So nothing in that one. We got a Ruby, though, and it's Christian Wood. I was hoping that would be our Vita Sabonis. So let's open up a badge pack, kind of... Um, Switch up the algorithm just a little bit here and then go with an MT pack. And again, sorry for you guys that tune in to 
pretty much every video. First of all, I appreciate you. Second of all, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, I just haven't gotten a video out for a little while because of... I just got off spring break and I'm kind of back in school now, but... I'm going to try and get another video out this weekend. If not, though, there will be another one the following weekend. And then once school starts to wind down, for me, I'll start to uh, upload quite a bit more 2K content. And then we all know how crazy the content's going to get towards the summer. So just stay tuned and there will be a lot more coming. But yeah. Nothing really doing there in those two packs, which isn't the biggest surprise. Um... Not too mad about it though, because I mean the cost again. Like I could just grind up to get ten thousand MT in a matter of twenty, thirty minutes. So I I think that's fine. I I just think it's really nice that they're cheap now and they're not that twenty one thousand. Because that was a huge switch. They've never made them that expensive before. And for me, someone who likes to open up a lot of packs with MT or as many as I can. Like I, I mean, you guys know I haven't been playing this game too much lately, but. As many as I can, and, uh, yeah, it's just nice that they're, like, half price now. So, that's a W. I hope they keep doing that with other promos for sure. But, yeah, hopefully this video wasn't too negative. I just kind of wanted to get some of that stuff off my chest. I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in, as always. I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And, like I said, I will see you guys in the next video.